Welcome British College Math students. This is our second episode of writing and solving two-step equations. Now, I kind of wrote some information for you and we're going to go through it. The EHS team is buying jerseys for its players. There are eight total players on the team. The coach bought himself a jersey for $32. She then bought the jerseys for the rest of the team. The total cost of the jerseys are $432. This should say herself. Um, sorry for the typo here. That should say herself. But nonetheless, let's focus on the key information. Uh, there are eight total players on the team. The coach bought herself a jersey for $32. She then bought the jerseys for the rest of the team. And we're going to say X is equal to the cost of the jersey. So I want you to think about this for a moment. What is the coach doing? He is buying, right? Just to show you how this equation is going to get built. The coach is buying eight there's eight players and he's buying jerseys for all eight players. So it's gonna be eight X, right? Because the X is the cost of each jersey. The coach bought herself a jersey for $32. It's just a one-time payment. So plus 32. And then the total cost is 432. And now we gotta figure out how much does each jersey cost if the total cost was 432 so we need to solve it and it's a two-step equation because it requires two steps and there's two ways of doing this so i'm going to show you both ways we're not going to worry about the error analysis one way to do this is we want to undo everything remember the goal is to get x equals we want x by itself so a very common thing that you would do that you probably learned in a majority of your classrooms is if this is plus 32 you're gonna subtract 32 to both sides of the equation. Boom, there you go. And if you do that, the 32's cancel, you're going to get eight X is equal to 400. Boom, boom, boom. And now, what do we do to get rid of the eight? Well, very similar to our one-step equations, we need to divide eight to both sides to get rid of it. And if we do 400 divided by eight, Right, this is where now you just, again, take a calculator, see what you get here, divided by eight, and we get, in fact, 50, boom. So we know each jersey that this coach bought her players is $50, $50 per jersey. And it's always nice to put the context so that you remember what was the purpose behind that. I'm gonna show you another way that you can do this. It's totally up to you. You can do it however you want. Now. Some people prefer to subtract right away. Other people see the eight in front of the X and they want to get rid of it right away. So if you want to get rid of this right away, this eight, you know the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So you're going to divide by eight. But the thing that's really confusing or maybe not confusing, but just something for you to know is that when you divide by eight, you have to do it to both sides. But because there's a plus symbol here and you're dividing, you are really, when you divide everything by eight, you're really dividing everything by eight like that, right? That can look kind of confusing here. So another way of doing this is just saying we're gonna divide this by eight, this by eight, and then this by eight right here. And that's actually where the error is over here. This person only divided it to the eight and the 432, and they just completely forgot about this 32. Now, if we do that, we're gonna get X plus four is equal to, I'm just, these cancel, X, 32 divided by eight, is this 432 divided by eight is going to give me 54. Boom, also this was an error right here. Oh, sorry, there was two mistakes in this problem, so I'll let you figure that out. And we subtract by four now. Remember, now we gotta undo this plus symbol and we get X is equal to 50. So if you take a look here, you still get the same answer and it's totally up to you to decide which method you wanna do. Do you wanna get rid of the eight first or do you want to subtract first? And that's really up to you. So you got a couple of other problems for you to try here. There's another one. If you don't know how to do it, the answer's over here, but it's good for you to get that practice this and then same thing over here now I'm gonna do this problem here just to show you that it's very very similar to what we did on the previous ones um, in this case I'm more of a fan of just like adding 16 to both sides I always like to just get rid of anything that's plusing or minusing so I get X divided by 9 is equal to 4 just because I use a calculator and then what do I do to undo division I multiply so now I multiply 9 to both sides these cancel, I get X is equal to, and this should be 36. So there it is right there, and then I get my solution. Now what you can do is take this answer, plug it back into here, solve it out, and show that you're actually gonna get negative 12. So I'm gonna let you finish these up. That's a little bit of writing and solving two-step equations.